Okay, so how to remove um, the stock Intel heatsink and fan. Um, thankfully, they make it pretty easy. First, we want to unplug the power, just get that out of the way. Um, then, it's all about these little tabs. They have little arrows on each one, and we're just going to turn them all in the direction of the arrow. Um, it's handy if you have like a little paper clip uh, or something. Flathead screwdriver works best, depending on how tight they are. Then, now that they're all turned, you can just pull up. And you'll hear it pop. Okay. You make sure they're all loose. And it's actually still going to be stuck to the processor a little bit by that thermal paste that's applied. Um, so I'm going to hold the motherboard down and uh, kind of rock it a little bit. Um, kind of on a circle motion. It helps break the um, thermal paste because um, you you know you don't want to pull too hard. So I just kind of keep rocking it, twisting a little bit, and then there it goes. And then it comes out nice and easy because um, you don't want to just pull straight up really hard. And you'll see the thermal paste. And that's pretty much it. Okay. So, once the heat sinks removed, you want to remove the processor. Uh, very self-explanatory, but um, you do have to give it a good amount of pressure, just like when you're installing it. You got to pull it, pry it out, and then it'll just lift up. And just kind of lift it up like that. Just nice and gentle with it. And then um, you'll just want to pick it up from the edges I think actually this edge is easier and it comes straight up. So from there, you can see the thermal paste. Um, you can either, you know, scrub this off or um, which you would want to do if you're going to reuse it. I'm actually returning this processor. So I'm going to just leave it at it as is, let them clean it. Um, if you were to clean it, you just want to use like a, like a microfiber cloth, a dry one. You, you really don't want to get water on it, obviously.